Um, so yeah. <clears throat> Do you want me? Um, app. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's video I wanted to do a little um, my top 10 Netflix shows that I binge watch and I suggest some shows to you guys that I like to binge watch or that I already have binge watched and currently is watching. I would like to suggest some of them to you guys because I know that some of us are still in quarantine and have nothing else to do. And also guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss any time I upload. So anyway guys, let's get right into this video so I can show you guys what my favorite shows are on Netflix. Okay, so first on the list is called Tora Dora. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, but I will put it on the screen here. It's on Netflix, it's an anime. There is two seasons. I am currently still watching it. And sorry guys, if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone because I'm trying to give you some more details on it because I'm very bad at trying to explain it. But, okay. So in this anime, it's very confusing for me, but I love the show. But when you're watching it, it just confuses you. Well, it, it is to me, it's confusing to me. But I love it because there's one little, there's one anime girl and she's so cute. She's, it's like, she's so misunderstood and I needed, she is literally in my heart for life. So, so there's that one. Okay. So next on our list or my list is Lucifer. Now I know that this was the hype like a couple of months back or whatever, but listen, I love Lucifer. Too bad there's only eight episodes of the of the of the season five. Season five, yeah, season five. Lucifer, if you haven't even if you didn't know, the show Lucifer is about obviously Lucifer and Morning Star. And Chloe Decker is one of the characters on it. Um, she is a detective and yeah, it's kind of a little bit crazy because obviously I'm in a deal, which is the son of God. Everything, it's like based around like the Bible and hell and heaven, and blah, blah, blah. So it's a really good show. I recommend it. There's five seasons on Netflix of it, so she's a good she's a good show to binge watch because she got more than one season. Okay. So the third one on our list is Vampire Night. Um, this is another anime. There's only two seasons on Netflix of Vampire Night, but it is a good show. So that one is definitely a binge watcher for sure. So number four on our list is The Order. And this one is on Netflix. Uh, this one only has two seasons on it. So anyway, um, a little um, backstory on this one if you want to watch it. Um, the Order is about this college. In this college, there is a group called The Order and the Knights of Chris Christopher, I think. Um, it's been a while since I watched it, but um, it's about witches, werewolves, um, the supernatural, and the witches hate the werewolves, but one of them, one of the boys, are both werewolf and a witch. So you can tell how that ends up. And obviously guys, I'm gonna have the pictures of everything here and 
put more information down in the description about the shelves because um, I don't have a lot wrote down. So I will try to get more and put them down in the description box down below. So number five on my list, um, this one is a recent watch. And let me tell you, I love To All The Boys series. So this one, number five on the list is To All The Boys, Always and Forever. This one is a movie. This one, it came out this year, I think. This is like a new one, I think. And it's basically them going off to college and you know, I don't really want to give any spoilers. So, um, they go to college and they go on a trip. So, that's all I'm going to give you. If you want to watch it, watch it. You know, I'll leave everything in the description box down below. Okay, so number six on our list is called Love Alarm. Love Alarm is a Korean TV series. Um, it's a Netflix original. Okay, let me try to explain um, a little bit. Um, season two is coming out um, March 12th. So there's only one season right now at the moment, but season two is coming. Love Alarm is a show about this high school boy, he made an app that if anybody comes in a 10 meter radius of you, your app, Love Alarm, would ring and tell you that that person loves you. And eventually, um, after four or five years after this app was created, um, nobody could hide their feelings anymore. And obviously it turned into a whole disaster because um, there was people, if you had more love alarm rings, you get into this thing called the badge club and it just, you know, turned into something that it shouldn't have before. But that's all I'm gonna tell you because I don't wanna spoil it because it's a really good watch. Let me tell you, when I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning watching this show, binge watched it, I watched it till, excuse you. I watched it till three o'clock in the morning. The next one is um, number seven on our list. Um, it's Never Have I Ever. This one is a movie and I think is a Netflix original. This one is about, um, I'm not gonna give, I'm gonna try not to give any spoilers because obviously I want you guys to watch it and see if you guys like it. And if you guys do watch any of these, comment down below and let me know how you guys felt about them or which ones you watched. Never Have I Ever was a movie. Um, it's about a Indian girl. And when she gets to high school, she makes a pact with herself that she isn't going to be the smart girl that everybody thinks or the loser that everybody says that she is. So she makes a little plan that she's going to get a boyfriend, that she's going to do crazy things and, you know, let everybody know that she is cool and not weird and a loser. Sorry, it's not a movie, it's a series. There's episodes. Sorry, I thought that one was um, a movie. Sorry. All right. So, moving down from our list, we have three more left. I don't know what I did with my hands there, but we have three more left. So number eight on our list is The Promised Neverland. So, this one is a show and it's an anime. It's an anime show. So, a little story on how I decided that I was gonna watch it. Um, I was looking through Netflix one day and I was looking at all the animes and I looked at it and I didn't like it. I only watched like five seconds of the show. But I was looking and I was scrolling down through TikTok and everybody was talking about The Promised Neverland and blah blah. You know, I've just seen it all over and I was like, maybe I can watch it, give it a second chance, you know, maybe I'll like it. So anyway, I gave it a second chance and let me tell you, I stayed up till five o'clock in the morning watching the full series. 
So anyway, um, I'm not going to give any spoilers about that, but it's about an orphanage. That's all you're getting. Orphanage. And yeah, so that's all you're getting. <laughs> all right. And number nine on our list is called Jurassic World Camp Courageous. Now, I only watched season one because season two recently came out. And, um, obviously, I think I said it in a couple of videos that I have up, um, I like dinosaurs. Love dinosaurs. So, obviously, anything that has dinosaurs in it, I'm watching it. So, as soon as I seen this, uh, last, last year, I think, came out, but as soon as I seen this, had to watch it. Let me tell you boss, it's a show to watch. I know that it's a animation um, cartoon series, but it's good, watch it. Cause you know, your girl watched it. She's 21 years old. So if I can watch it, you can watch it. Last on our list is number 10 and it's called Bonding. Now, this one I only recently got into. It's um, a new show. Let me tell you, I already watched all the season, or all of the season one and season two, I think. Cause I think season two just came out. Um, I watched it all. Um, this one is a Netflix original. Um, okay. So this is not, this is probably not for the kids' eyes. So, you know, cover them bad boys. Um, so it's about a girl and her gay best friend. And this girl is a dominatrix, but she don't do like the nasty with anybody. She just fills fantasies and um, fills their desires. So yeah. Um, that's a pretty good show. It's actually pretty funny. Um, even though it's about, uh, dominatrix girls and stuff like that. But it's pretty funny. And I will probably put, like, little snippets here and there. I don't really want to give too many spoilers away. And obviously I don't want to get copywritten. So, I will try my best to give you little sneak peeks. But... Obviously, I don't want to give any spoilers out because I want you guys to watch these shows. Okay, guys, so that's the end of this Netflix shows that I recommend to you guys. Um, if you guys would like another list of shows to watch or for me to show you guys or even some suggestions that you guys like that I can watch, put them down in the comments down below. And also guys, give this video a big thumbs up. So yeah, you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on your post notifications so you do not miss any time I upload. Without further ado, it's your girl, G, and I will see you in the next one.